So welcome to the British Museum. So um, yeah, today I'm in London and um, at one of the world's foremost uh, museums, as the name suggests. And today I want to talk about another reason why it's important to keep good documentation. Because <laughs> it's not boring. So, I've previously spoken about how important documentation is from an operational perspective, but today I really want to talk about how documentation is from an emotional perspective, because museums like this are a way for us to connect with our past and uh, learn from the mistakes that we've, we've had in that past and hopefully prevent them in the future. And, um, we can learn how to improve for the future as well. But there are, there are also a way that we can recall times gone by and um, remember them fondly and um, see where we've come from and how much we've grown. And if you're keeping good documentation, um, not just operationally, but um, personally as well, of your, uh, of not just your personal life, but also the life of the the organisation that you're working with, you're building. Um, then you'll be able to look back on those early days and again see how it was at the start and see how you've grown, and see where you've come from. And you'll be able to um, look back in 20 years and recall in, as Bert Simon says, in a way you can't grasp now um, the possibilities that lay before you. <laughs> I'm just quoting sunscreen now. You are not as fat as you imagined. Seriously though, it's really important. Keep records, take photos. Um, not just for operational reasons, not just even for social media. Take photos that you don't necessarily publish all, all over social media. And um, keep them in an archives, in, in the, the library of your organisation. And make them available to all of your team so that whenever they want to, they can look back and see that they are part of something bigger and something 